Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this tutorial. And in the, this tutorial, we will see how to create a chat application. And uh, we will be creating this chat application uh, to chat with the users. So uh, you must have already seen the demo. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll create a repository. And uh, instead of this repository, we will have our two more repositories in the front end and the back end. So uh, for back end, uh, I will be writing the code for back end uh, with the help of uh, this thing node.js and for front end i will create a repository with the help of uh, white so i will say npm create uh, white and uh, so our entire replica uh, this uh, front end repository will be created with the help of the white so i will create uh, my front end and then i will go to my front end and i will say npm i or npm install whatever that is and it will install all the necessary components uh, but as of now let's do one thing let's go to our backend our repository and instead of our backend i will say npm init minus y y for all the questions uh, which it will ask by default and uh, yeah let's see what is the status of our front end so front end uh, all the npm modules are getting installed so we will start with the back end so let uh, this go on because of now we won't be using the front end so let me just close this uh, tab of the front end i will be primarily focusing on the back end uh, first so when it comes to the back end i will have some of the folders over here and then as the models uh, i will have the models folder over here then i will have the controllers uh, inside of this uh, Sorry, it went outside. So, I have the models, I have the controllers, then after that, I will have the routes. I have the middleware. So, middleware I use for the authentication purpose. What else I have missed? routes and if we go to the package dot uh, this thing package.json uh, i have this index.js where all my major code will go on so yeah our backend repository is ready now so okay so this is our backend repository it's just uh, two minutes i will not make the lengthy lengthy videos i'll just try to keep it short and simple so let's do one thing let me just go to the models and uh, I will have the user.js for the user models. So after that, uh, I will have the message.js for the message model. Then after that, I am having the conversations.js to keep uh, track of the conversations which uh, I will have. And uh, then we have this middleware. So when it comes to the middleware, I have the odd.js and uh, then I'm having the routes inside of which uh, I will keep uh, track of all the routes. So first I will have the odd.js and then again I will uh, create the messages.js. conversations.js to keep the track of the conversations so let's uh, do one thing or controller.js Then I have the message controller and after that I am having the conversation controller. Okay, so this will be our backend and uh, these are the, some of the uh, files which I will have in my backend and uh, frontend we will see afterwards or should I just show you all the structure of the frontend now only because first we will just try to create uh, basic structure of our uh, so let's say i will have the components over here inside of our uh, 
source directory and inside the components uh, i will have all my components so i will do one thing i'll create uh, the structure of our entire front end back end uh, now only and after after that uh, first i'll go for the back end and then i'll go for the front end so first i will have the chat.jsx to keep the track of all the chats and uh, then i will have the conversations.jsx file to keep the track of uh, all the conversations and show uh, show the ui for the conversations then i will have the create conversations create conversation.jsx to create the conversation to start a brand new conversation after that i have the login.jsx to create the login page uh, where the user can log in after that i will have the register.jsx to so that user can register and all the data will go into the backend so this is our basic uh, structure of the front end back end so these are some of the files which uh, we will have and uh, yeah it's almost six minutes so uh, i think i should uh, wind up this uh, video and in the next tutorial i will uh, show you all how to create the back end and after that we will go for the front end okay and uh, I've already showed you the demo how uh, how uh, I mean what kind of application uh, you can expect so we will start building that so thank you for watching and uh, do check out the next part of this tutorial so that you people are uh, coming across like what we are building and how we're going to start so let me just uh, minimize uh, the front end as of now and I'll go for the backend and start building the backend okay so thank you for watching.